don't have time to waste. Last. Well met. We haven't much time in this place now that the Jeanne's hearts are completely destroyed. And you are? You may call me Jonathan Fry. The witch hunter from 1786? I've never heard myself referred to in such a way. You were here when Ellie Kedward was banished, right? Why do you refer to me in the past tense? Now I understand. Yes. And how fortunate that we should meet like this. Tell me, will I defeat the witch? Not entirely, I'm afraid. It seems the witch is still at large. At last! Are all my efforts for naught? As far as I know, the witch was inactive in this region for over 50 years after you encountered her. Perhaps I will yet defeat the witch. I believe I know the witch's true name, and the name of her home. 
If I knew how to use that information, I might be able to defeat her. There is great power in names. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. I'm afraid our time won't last much longer. As much I wish I could tell you. Perhaps I still can. When I've finished my work here, I will leave my journal in the caves near Coffin Rock. Are you familiar with that area? I didn't know there were caves. That's because I intend to see them when I'm done. Look hard when you're there again. You'll find my journal inside one of the caves. Use the information well. It's all I can do. I'll find it. Thank you. Good luck, Hunter. We fight the same evil. I just spoke with a man who's been dead for over a hundred years. The witch hunter who roamed these hills in the town of Ellie Kedward appeared to me. He promised to leave his journal for me hidden in the caves beneath Coffin Rock. I'll have to go there and... Hello? Who is that? Oh, my batteries. I can finally use my light guns again. And that white owl is back. Welcome back. What have you learned since last we spoke? This forest is much more than it seems. Indeed. If you know how to work its magic, you have seen few of its many paths. I met a man who wandered these woods over a hundred years ago. I believe I was taken back in time, or he was brought forward. Hmm, a convergence. When the path bends right, you can see this forest as it is in the past or as it will be in the future. There is no time when on these paths, only place. They are present, past, and future all at once. The man I spoke to claimed to be hunting the Blair Witch. I assume he never found her. Oh, he may have killed a witch, but the powers in this forest are far greater. Are you saying there's more than one witch, or that the witch isn't human? Neither assumption is incorrect. You have found a witch yourself. The only person I've seen in these woods is Kyle Brody. Ah, oh, now I saw him at Ruston Pa's house. You're telling me that that ten-year-old boy is a witch? The boy is merely a vessel. An innocent victim transformed into a cunning tool of Hecidomix. Hecidomix? Your people give names to things beyond your comprehension. My people do the same. The darkness that inhabits this place was here long before man came into this world. It is known to my people as Hecitomix. If you wish to stop Hecitomix, you must remove it from the boy. I am the last one alive who knows how to repel Hecitomix from a human host. Using this Twana, you can drive Hecitomix from the boy. Simply touch the boy with this, and Hecitomix will be torn from his body. But once it's free of the child, that power will return to the forest. Those who have attempted to hunt Hecidomix in its true form have all perished. It must be vulnerable to something. The origin of Twana is unknown. Though legends speak of an ancient tribe that learned to duplicate the magic Hecidomix uses to move through the worlds, the Twana allows us to open countless paths I have found the names for some of them. A path exists that will take Hecitomix into a realm from which even he cannot escape. So all I have to do is make another Tawana to banish Hecitomix. If it were that simple, my people would have done so long ago. 
I've never learned the name of the path that will banish Hecatomix. My elders spoke of Hecatomix's source, a path so dark and twisted that it took Hecatomix a thousand years to emerge. If you could send the demon back to that place, it would be powerless for the next thousand years. That birthplace is a true name, one that Hecatomix has kept very secret. Planted in the woods said that he knew the name of the witch and her home. That might actually be the name of the demon's home. He promised to leave his journal for me in the caves near Coffin Rock. Find those caves in the journal. Return to me with the name of the void, and I will help you conquer Hecatomix. Amazing! Exactly as the witch hunter said. A lot of pages are missing, but a few show that he encountered some of the same symbols I've seen. I've got to get this back to his Gaia. Teddy bear with the insides ripped out, left by Kyle Brody on Coffin Rock. Perhaps I have the Witch Hunter's journal. Does this mean anything to you? What's the matter? What is it? When I was a child, my grandfather drew this picture in the sand and told a story. It's the story of Bleeding Boy. Long ago, the first tribe to enter these woods found Hecatomix waiting. Hecatomix stole one of their young, and on a dark path atop Coffin Rock, he sacrificed the boy opening the boy's belly and spilling him across the rock. Because of Hecatomix's power, the boy never dies. He bleeds ceaselessly in agonizing pain. Hecatomix drinks the boy's blood and feeds on his pain. His tribe attempted to rescue him after discovering the secrets of the Twana. Many strong warriors and mighty shaman were taken by Hecatomix. They could not free their captive son. 
the entire tribe vanished without a trace. Some other stories say that a warrior shaman named Othewenda did survive and left a warning at the edge of these evil woods. This Othewenda is mentioned in some of the literature I found in the Beckettsville Library. Yes, he is well known in many tribes. It is said that Othewenda's magic ward remains at the edge of this forest and can only be seen by powerful shaman. With his entire tribe destroyed, Bleeding Boy was doomed to writhe in agony atop Coffin Rock forever. But I've been to Coffin Rock. I saw no one. Bleeding Boy lives in another path, the one mentioned in this journal. Disemboweled on Coffin Rock. Oh, why didn't I notice that before? There's a label here, Mr. Brownie. I thought Mary was talking about a pet, but this teddy bear is her missing Mr. Brownie. I found this teddy bear at Coffin Rock, cut open as if it had been disemboweled. I saw Kyle Brody with it earlier, but now I know it originally belonged to Mary Brown. Who is this Mary Brown? Her name has been kept hidden from me. She's a ten-year-old girl from Burkittsville. Innocent. Like Bleeding Boy. Hecatomix intends to add Mary Brown to his eternal feast atop that accursed rock. Kyle plans to take Mary out to Coffin Rock and sacrifice her. I cannot guess Hecatomix's intentions, but such a thing is possible. You must find and protect Mary Brown. I'll do my best. But about this journal, is there anything useful in it? You might be able to defeat Hecatomix and free Bleeding Boy at the same time. How? Hecatomix will not fall easily into a trap. But with the proper distraction, he may be vulnerable. If you were to free Bleeding Boy and carry him from Coffin Rock, Hecatomix would surely follow. How do I find this Bleeding Boy? I can make the Twana for you from what is written in this journal. What happens once I rescue Bleeding Boy? Using Bleeding Boy as a distraction, you could lead Hecatomix through another portal, trapping him in the nameless void. I haven't come across anything that alludes to such a place. How will I find the path for this void? I know not. You may not be the one meant to find it. If it is intended, the path will find you. If the path is learned, return to me at once, and I will tell you what you must do. It's not as simple as the other Twana you have used. I will teach you the proper way to use it. Go now. You must return to town and protect Mary Brown at all costs. Should she fall victim to Hecatomix, his power will increase.